Hi, welcome to Popcorn PJs and Pictures, our uneventful event. I hope you have your PJs on, your popcorn ready, and that you'll spend the next few minutes with us as we talk about Living Bridges Ministry. We want to talk today about our mission, our vision, and the future that we desire as we continue to serve here in the Valdosta, Georgia area. We hope you will pray for us, consider volunteering alongside us, donating to our cause, and just getting involved. Living Bridges Ministry was founded by Tony and I in 2014. We were seeking to build relationships with those who are low income or in poverty, to see them the way that God sees them and to love them the way that God loves them. Since 2014, our ministry has grown where our volunteers come out of 12 to 15 different churches. No denominations, just Jesus. Our ministry is named after True Living Bridges. Those are found in Meghalaya, India. They take 10 to 15 years to build and are built by weaving the roots of the Indian banyan tree together. The elders of the tribe teach the youngest members of the tribe so that this skill set is passed on from generation to generation. The elders work on these bridges knowing that they may never walk on them because they will die before completion. And so they do it for the betterment of their tribe, not for the good of themselves. And that is why we call Living Bridges Ministry, Living Bridges. We may not be here to see the end result of our ministry, but we know that it's for the good of the people that we serve and for the good of the city of Valdosta that we serve them. When I am out and about speaking on behalf of Living Bridges Ministry, I have begun to share the scripture from Luke 1941. That scripture says, as he approached Jerusalem and saw the city, he wept over it. I often wonder, if Jesus was to walk by Valdosta today, would he weep over the condition of our city? I believe you could agree with me that he would. You see, Jesus wasn't weeping over the city of Jerusalem as a city. He was weeping over his chosen people, a people that had so much potential, and yet they were stuck. They were stuck in the sin that they had committed. They were stuck in their life. They were stuck not moving forward. And you can look at Valdosta and see many of the same situations here. And that is why when we began Living Bridges Ministry, we began with a hand up more than a hand out approach. Our goal and our mission is to get people out of poverty and into self-sufficient, independent living. The diagram on this slide shows how generational poverty becomes a cycle, an endless cycle. Our hope by offering Kids Connection is that we are building relationships that will help begin to break the poverty cycle before these children that we serve become adults. Our Kids Connection ministry takes place on the second and fourth Saturdays of the summer months at Scott Park on the south side of Valdosta. The program features craft activities, healthy food prep lessons for our kids, some even using produce from our community garden, and a Bible study lesson for the kids. The adults received pertinent information from a variety of community resources, as well as having the opportunity to play bingo, where store gift cards were used as prizes. Following those activities, we serve a free lunch to everyone. This year, our Kids Connection program experienced tremendous growth with an average of more than 85 people in attendance and a couple of weeks where we reached more than 100 people. 
In 2018, we served more than 525 meals and our volunteers served more than 325 volunteer hours. We are excited about the growth in this ministry and what that growth means for breaking the poverty cycle in our youth. Those who live in poverty often have to sacrifice things that many of us take for granted. Some of those things would be considered basic necessities. Things like clothes that are stylish, fit well, and are in good condition. This inspired us early on to begin a clothing ministry which provides free clothing to those in need year-round. As we have grown, that ministry has grown, and we now run a community clothes closet and seasonal clothing exchanges. Our clothes closet is supported by donations and is currently housed in the Coastal Plain building. This year, we have served more than 650 people. Our seasonal clothing exchanges allow attendees to receive 10 free items of clothing. They can also bring in gently used clothes that they no longer wear in order to receive more items. The three exchange events that we held in 2018 served nearly 350 people and distributed $11,000 in clothing. Food insecurity continues to be a major concern for Georgia as it is tied for fourth among America's hungriest states and it is fifth in child hunger. Lowndes County's food insecurity rate is nearly double the national average. The Southside Community Garden is a solution to this statistic. It gives the community an opportunity to come and work, to plant, tend, weed, and harvest seasonal crops allowing those who work the garden to take home the harvest as food for their families. During 2018, 15 families have grown and harvested more than 950 pounds of fresh produce. That equates to over $1,100 in grocery savings. We look forward to the continued growth and expansion of this food ministry with projects that will include a community produce stand and classes on healthy eating and nutrition and how to cook the produce that we harvest from the garden. In addition to having limited resources, those we serve are often unemployed or have difficulty keeping steady jobs. Valdosta's job market doesn't do much to help bridge this gap. With an unemployment rate 10% higher than the national average and four-year college degree attainment being 39% lower than the national average, the jobs that are available are usually low skill and low pay. This means greatly increased difficulty for those looking to grow through education and, and career advancement. Our transformations program was born out of our community's apparent need for education and financial literacy, workplace skills, job readiness, and life skills. These three phases of the program are covered over the course of a year and help to develop self-sufficiency and a sense of accountability in an effort to break the cycle of poverty. These are only a few of the programs that we offer to the Valdosta community, and we are still growing. But we can't do what we do without the help of people like you. We have always welcomed and will continue to welcome new people to join us in our efforts as we serve God's people, and there are many ways to get involved. Right now, our greatest need is for a space to call home. With so many active ministries, we need a central space with regular hours that is easily accessible for those that we serve. This would help us to expand and offer other programs that we are not currently able to provide. Programs like classes to help the people cook the produce that we harvest from our garden and learn about nutritional eating. Respite for single parents. Classes for new mothers. Bible study groups and family fellowship opportunities. We are currently working to raise the funds for a building that we believe that God has called us to buy. We are proud and thankful to have the support of many local businesses as we work in our ministry. We would like to say a special thank you to Staylock Storage, First Federal Savings of Valdosta, and Christy Marsh State Farm for being sponsors of the presentation of Popcorn PJs and Pitchers. We would also like to say a special thank you to our promoting businesses, Rowan's Children's Consignment Store, Ditto's Consignment Store, Monkey Britches Boutique, 
the Looking Glass, and Down Home Pizza, who made it possible for you to pick up your popcorn at their locations.